no, 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 no. We'll go to the shopping first, then we'll get a pizza. Now, where'd I put that list? You left it behind. Hey, great. You could have told me. We're going to have to go back for it now. There's no need. What do you mean? I can remember it. What? Remember the whole list? Yep. <laughs> go on, then. Right. A litre bottle of cola, white sliced loaf, quick soap mushy peas, honey coated chocolate sugar crackles, frozen duck in orange sauce, a ten pack of indigestion tablets, and a polypropylene mop bucket. Sure you haven't forgotten anything? You spelt polypropylene wrong. How do you manage to remember all that? I don't know, I just do. You know what you've got, don't you? What? A photographic memory. Eh? It means you read something once and you remember it all instantly. Oh yes. I could do a lot of good with that. Helping people out, giving out valuable information. Hmm. Well, you could be a novelty sideshow at a fate. Eh? What, you mean Grand Fate today at three to be opened by the host of TV's Trophy's Cabinet, Raymond Trophy, with special guest Albie Flange, TV's Mr Memory? Exactly, Mr Memory. Yeah, but they've already got one. Ah, but I bet he's not as good as ours. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Raymond Trophy, am delighted, uh, nay, privileged, nay, honoured to have been invited along here today to open this magnificent, this wonderful, this absolutely brilliant... Excuse us. Uh, uh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, Bennett. You know. Don't you know who I am? The only Mr. Memory. Not anymore, you're not. I won't stand for this. I'm going to get your chair. What's going on here? What's this, Mr. Memory? There's only one Mr. Memory, and that's him. Who gave you permission to put up this sign? Village Hall and Performing Rights Act 1949, Section 4. Surely you remember that, Mr. Flange. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, of course I do. You haven't heard the last of this. Are you sure you're ready for the performance, Albie? Yes, but keep an eye on these two. There are a couple of troublemakers. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be all right. Leave it to me. Thank you, thank you, my friend. I would now like to give you a demonstration of my memory. A phenomenal repository of facts, figures and information. That is not a question that has been asked that Mr. Memory cannot answer. Here's one for you. Why don't you get off? So if I could have a question at random from the audience, I will answer it instantly. Is there a question? <gasps> yes, sir. Why, it is none other than our guest of honour, Mr. Raymond Trophy. Well, there's a surprise. Oh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 please don't applaud. <laughs> Here's one that'll catch him up. He can't get this in a million years. I bet he will. Dost thou think, because thou art virtuous, there shall be no more cakes and ale? Which play is that come from? It's Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Oh, even I knew that. I've got your knowledge record. Then that would be Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Absolutely right. What a genius, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Here, I've got a question. Name the Rotherham United squad for the 1977-78 season. I think we've had enough questions for one day. Uh, yes, my talent is very precious. I must use it sparingly. I can name them. It was Brecken Crawford, Trinity Goodfellow, Gwyther Havin, McAllister Phillips, Pugh Rhodes, Spencer Stankis, Wagstaff and Womble. Alan Crawford was leading scorer with 23 goals, nine of which were penalties. So, Mr. Know-it-all, what's Mr. Trophy thinking right now? He's thinking he's going to make a grab for me and pull down the curtains by mistake. Why, you are... <laughs> well done, Barry. Just wanted to say, no hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> On the day the better man won. You can say that again. On the day the better man won. Where's Mr. Flange? Here he is now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Terribly sorry, a complete mistake. <laughs>
Right. Well, if he wants to play dirty, it's fine by me. What TV show did you say presented? Trophy's Cabinet. It's on every Friday. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm telling you, Barry, there's nothing to worry about. Do you only ever ask questions on three categories? Football, music and geography. I know. I got you all the books you needed, and you've read them all dozens of times. I know. We can't lose. I don't know. I'll get you a cup of coffee. It'll steady your nerves. Excuse me, miss. Two coffees, please. Miss? You? Hello. What do you want? What are you doing here? I'm on the show. <laughs> what do you mean you're on the show? Who said so? I've got it all written down. It's in a letter. It says... JTV PLC requests the pleasure of Mr. B.C. Esquire as the latest contender on JTV PLC's TC, TX, TBA, PP, RT. Who's B.C.? Me, Barry Chuckle. Your RT and TC is the show. Trophy's cabinet. The letter was PP'd on your behalf, so it's legally binding and there's nothing you can do about it. Foiled by abbreviations. Wait till I see that secretary. Where's our dressing room? Oh, down there. You won't forget the coffee, will you? Oh, um... No. Let's go and find our dressing room. We'll use this one for a couple of minutes. Hey, Barry. What do you think? They've left you your very old Mr. Memory Man costume. Here, try it on. Cheers. Do you know what this says? Ring for an ambulance? It says Star Barry. We're really going to make the big time. What's going on here? This is my dressing room, miss. Um, just go in. Hey! I'll be back for you in a minute. Albie, are you there? It's me. It's Raymond. Albie. Ah, there you are. Oh, I like the cape. Have you lost weight? Mmm. Albie. Bad news, I'm afraid. Somehow or other, those idiots from the fate have wangled their way onto the show. So, I'm going to have to come up with new questions. Questions which they wouldn't have learned. Aha! Not to worry. I'll make sure you get all the answers beforehand. As usual. <laughs> oh. No questions. No questions. Phone book. Yellow. Borders and the Isle of Man, Telephone Directory, 1987. Well, now, what have we got? <laughs> so this is the wheel of knowledge. Football, music, geography. <laughs> Barry can't lose. There you go. Leave that wheel alone. Get on with your work. Sorry. <laughs> Barry, there you are. What you been doing? You'll never guess. This show's fixed. I know. They're trying to make sure I can't win by changing all the questions. What are we going to do? You better get a move on. The show starts in 15 minutes. Hide. If only we knew what the new categories were. Oh, here. This must be one of them. Read that, quick. Borders in the Isle of Man Telephone Directory, 1987. Very exciting. What was that? Hey, thieves, stop! Come back here with my dustbin! What the... Stop!
Right, I've read this. <laughs> we can't lose now. Yeah, but I've only learned the phone book. I don't know anything about the other subjects. Leave everything to me. Five minutes for recording. Artists and contestants, please report to the studio. Welcome to Trophy's Cabinet. Okay, hoping to go away with a locker of loot once again for a record 17th week is someone that you've all grown to know and love. TV's Mr. Memory, Albie Flange. Hello. Very nice to be here again, Raymond. And it's good to have you with us once again, Albie. I see you've changed the categories on the wheel again. <laughs> Trying to catch me out, eh? Oh, we couldn't do that with a memory like you've got, but, but we'll keep trying anyway. <laughs> so without further ado, let's play... Excuse me. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, playing against Albie tonight, we have Barry somebody or other, but uh, I think you better spin the wheel, don't you? Spin the wheel, Albie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. No. The history of oven gloves. Well, there's one for you. Good luck, Albie, for five points. Name the first oven glove to be manufactured in the United Kingdom using the negative stitch process. Oh, but yes, yes, it, it, it's coming through. Uh, that would be the Besco double insulated oven master of 1956. Wonderful! How about that? I'll be terrific. He's brilliant, this guy. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, now, of course, it's uh, time for you to spin the wheel. Oh. Please, Barry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Albie. For five points. Oh dear. <laughs> Who was the principal influence in the studio pottery movement of the late 19th century? I don't know. Why do you ask? <laughs> no. Only the category is telephone directory. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, whose number is Selkirk 7643? Selkirk 7643. That would be Mr. T.G. Simmons of 76 Lancaster Drive, Selkirk. <laughs> It's just a knack. Well, after 15 questions, our contestants are neck and neck. Now, Barry, you've certainly had a run of luck there. 15 questions, and each time topped at the same category. Telephone directory. I can scarcely believe it myself. <laughs> Quite. All right, good luck to you, because uh, this time, next question, you're going to have a chance to try for the big, big prize in Trophy's Cabinet. And tonight's star prize is this fabulous personal stereo. <laughs> Barry, uh, uh, you stay there this time. I'll spin the wheel. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, for that little technical hitch. That does mean, unfortunately, that the game is null and void. And therefore, I'm happy to announce that Albert Flange is still champion of Trophy's Cabinet. Hey, that's not fair. Barry was going to win. Hey, well, you want to get in the final, don't you? Final? What final? Who are you? Where am I? Can't you remember? Remember? Remember what? On reflection, of course, it would be very unfair to cancel the show at such an exciting stage. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to announce that the game will continue. Hey, but that's not fair. Barry can't remember. And both contestants will go through to compete in Trophy's Cabinet. Hang on, he's lost his memory. If you don't go away, I'll have you thrown out. <laughs> and now the moment you've all been waiting for, Trophy's Cabinet. That's one star prize and 24 booby prizes. But can our contestants remember where the star prize is? Contestants? What contestants? Mr. Chuckle, you go first. Would you Would you like to choose a box? Yes. I'll have the second row in, third box down, B3, please. Are you sure? Yes. 
Well, it could be empty. It could be a nasty surprise. Who knows? Perhaps you'd like to step forward and choose. It's empty. Oh, it's empty. What a shame. Uh, Albie, uh, would you like to choose one, please? That was the box I was going to pick. Well, try another one. A1, please. I've had enough of this. Well, you sound confident. Is that the box with the star prize? Not anymore, it isn't. <laughs> What's going on? It's meant to be the star prize. Your turn, Mr. Chuckle. Um, Try this one, Barry. What's going on? OK. It's empty. Your turn, Albie. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about all this, but I have to tell you that Barry Chuckle has been cheating. What do you mean cheating? It's you from the cheating from the start. You know very well it was you that moved the star prize. I should have won on my very first go. Well, how do you know that? Because I knew which box it was in. I had the box numbers written on these. Look, I couldn't lose. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. All the answers written down here. <laughs> you idiot! Oh, sorry, I forgot. Forgot? We showed him there, Barry. Barry? What's he got? I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. I should be so lucky now. Do you know, we really showed him there, Barry. Has your memory come back yet? Barry? Well, I said, has your memory come back yet? No. Oh. In that case, you won't remember saying, anything I win, Paul, you can have half of. I never said that. Thought you couldn't remember? Um. You. Well, if I hadn't pretended to lose my memory, I wouldn't have won this. I've learnt all the songs. Have you now? Contestants wanted for new TV quiz show, name that song. Hey, we could win a weekend for two in Cleethorpes. No, come back. Just think, Cleethorpes.